Hey everybody, I am trying something new today and I am taking you along with me to my doctor's appointment and I'll be talking to you between here and um, the doctor's office and I don't have a, a holder for my phone so I have it sitting in that rabbit ear um, speaker thing that Ben sent me and it seems to be doing pretty good but if you go flying you'll know that you don't have a seat belt on so anyway like I said I'm going to the to the doctor today my regular doctor I go three or four times a year depending on how I'm doing and it's just time for a, a checkup and I have um some breathing problems and it all stems from smoking for many years I started when I was 15 and you know back then they didn't know the health concerns that that we know now but I smoked up until about 15 years ago when I stopped and but I stopped too late because now I have COPD and I use um, a breathing machine that I put medicine in and um, I take a breathing treatment. I have several inhalers, different inhalers I use and also at night I have a CPAP and my husband has COPD too and he has a breathing machine so one of my husband's doctors says that uh, she thinks it's really romantic that he and I both have breathing machines side by side in our bedroom. So, anyway, I guess that's one way of looking at it. But um, the doctor I'm going to was my mama's doctor years ago and I just, I didn't choose to go to this, well, until he retired recently. I didn't choose to go to this, to that same doctor because my mom, I just happened to, I really don't remember go, but anyway, I loved him and now I love my new, new doctor. She's a lady, she's very understanding and um, just a very sweet person. So I don't like to go to the doctor. I don't know many people that do. But, um, when you gotta, you gotta. So, uh, it's a beautiful day. I think it's gonna be in the 70s, maybe lower 80s today. And if you notice this circle kind of around my face, a soft circle, I don't know how I did that. And I can't get it to go away unless I take the phone out of that little holder and I need the phone in the holder so that's why we have the circle but that works really well the um, rabbit ear thing if you look at the video where I'm thanking Ben for the uh, nice gifts he sent that's um, where you'll see the rabbit ear speakers that he sent. So, let's see. This is a little strange for me because, you know, when I talk on uh, my videos, I'm just talking about the cooking or the crafts, and I don't really go into a lot of talking about other stuff. So, it's a little strange, but kind of nice to do something different. So, Kaylin went to school today, or we call it school, it's pre-K, it's a, actually a daycare, and she's been, um, she has stayed home with us up until a couple months ago when she started pre-K, but we felt like she needed the best start she could get going to school and um, with pre-k she would learn 
some things better than we could teach her, I felt like. So she's getting to, uh, to be a very social butterfly and learning a lot of things. And, and uh, so we'll talk about what went on at school and she always talks, she'll say, my kids, so all the kids she goes to school with are her kids. I think it's sweet. And she's just a real blessing to me and Randy when she goes somewhere, like yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, she went with her sister, my oldest daughter, and they hung out together. And my husband and I were lost because we're just so used to having her and all that. But she needs to get out and have fun. So my oldest daughter, um, does a lot for her uh, as far as well she buys her toys and some clothes and things like that but she, more than that she takes her places and uh, like this weekend I believe it is she's gonna take her to Scarewinds it's or Carowinds and um, She's taken her to the zoo and just a lot of things she's done for her. And if it hadn't been for her doing that for Kaylin, then there's not um, a lot Kaylin would have got to do because with me and my help and my husband and his help, you know, we, we uh, just wouldn't have been able to take her. And... I talk like we're just, um, just uh, real sickly type people, and we're not. We're actually in good health, but as you get older, you get slower, and you get, um, uh, you know, like arthritis or things that make you not move as well, and. It's just harder to get around, harder to do, and we both, my husband and I both feel like we're very blessed to have the help that we do have because there's people that are so much worse off than we are. So, uh, anyway, that's that. So when I get to the doctor's office, I'll I'll go ahead and go and uh, cut off the video and I'll go in and see the doctor and then when I come out, if there's anything to tell, I'll tell you. But I don't foresee of anything going on because I've been doing just fine. And my husband is on a new pain medication. I think he's going to have back surgery before long, but they're trying to keep him comfortable until he does have back surgery. And so he's been doing good on that. And that's about all I can think of. I'm going to get um, lunch for us and take it home when I finish here. And what I had thought about was uh, fish. We both love fish and there's a place called the Harbor Inn and they have specials every day and my husband likes to usually get a trout or tilapia or whitefish uh, along with an order of um, baby shrimp. They sell that together as a special and I'm not huge on shrimp so I'll probably get maybe whitefish or tilapia. Is it tilapia or tilapia? I'm not sure. I say a lot of words funny and my kids will make fun of me. But I think that's what kids think they're supposed to do is give their parents a hard time. And I give them a hard time. Like when I do sometimes something silly on my videos and I'll say, hey kids, and stuff, just so they know that I know that I'm trying to embarrass them, 
it's part of my job. So, we are getting closer to my doctor's office. It won't be but about five minutes. So, in just a second, I'll go ahead and go. And um, I had wanted to go over to um, Hobby Lobby. My husband and I love to go over there, and I've got quite a bit of furniture from there. But since he's not with me today, he um, is staying staying at home. He asked me, did I want him to go? And I said, it's fine if you go, but if you feel like you're gonna fall asleep, which he falls asleep all the time, if you feel like you're gonna fall asleep, then please stay at home. And so he said he felt like he probably should stay at home, so since he's not with me to go to the doctor, I probably won't go to Hobby Lobby because I feel bad that um, he loves to go there so much and won't be going with me. So we can always go back. And um, I'm going by Aldi's, which is where I like to shop at Aldi's, but I don't shop there a lot. It's a little bit far from the house, and I don't really know why. I guess that's my reason for not shopping there that much. But I would on the way back like to stop there and get some, um, here I go, not being able to remember, the um, pesto. They have got really good pesto. And I like to boil um, those little tortellinis that have the cheese in them and then drain that when it's done and then just put pesto in it and eat it. I love it. But um, anyway, I'm just sitting at the light. It's going to change in a minute and then I'll just go up the road a little bit and I'll be at the doctor. So I'll go ahead and go and um, I'll be back in a minute and I'll tell you what the doctor said. So that was two times the phone fell, so I'm just holding it right here. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure what I said or how far I got with what I was saying, but what my plan is is just going first and picking up our food, then picking up our milkshakes, then getting Randy's medicine, and then getting my medicine, and then go home. And then, after a couple hours, we'll go get Kaylin from daycare. And we'll go home a little bit, and then we'll go to church. Then we'll come home and watch Survivor. And the last couple weeks, um, there's been someone at the house or something, and I've not really got to watch it like I'd like to, but I, I need to read a little bit online about what's been going on. Even though I've seen it, I've not been able to really understand what's going on. So I need to do that. So anyway, I love Survivor. And um, so I'll watch that and then probably look at some videos or something and go to sleep. So that's my day. And I hope you enjoyed the, this uh, vlog. It's the first time I've ever done this. And it was very, uh, very fun. I like talking to y'all. I didn't know I had such a big mouth. But um, anyway, take care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.